So without further ado, we're going to go into magic lesson. Magic lesson, because every week you need a magic lesson, right? This week, I thought, as we're getting into the holidays and all of a sudden all these stations I listen to are doing holiday music so far, which I think is weird. I think you got to not hit Christmas or Yule until after Thanksgiving. I'm just into brown and orange until Thanksgiving, and then you hit the red and green holidays. See, I'm keeping religion out of that. But, but, but they're playing holiday music. And you know when that first, whether it's a Christmas carol or whatever hits you, it shifts something, it changed something. It's the power of sound. And I'm not really just talking Christmas music here, but forever and ever and ever, sound magic has been a part of magic. It's certainly a part of big, of my magic because forever, forever, every culture, every light has used music or sound to attune, to invoke, to transform your consciousness in every which way. Whether it's chanting, whether it's singing in church and choirs, whether it's drum beat around a drum circle, whether it's the piano, whether it's the organ, whether it's the bells, whether it's a, a Tibetan singing bowl, sound affect us. And what that is, is the vibration of sound. It's actually science because science and spirituality, they're the same thing with different words. Um, we know vibration, everything sound is vibration. It's vibration is energy and energy is what changes us. So change your mood, change your life, change everything by putting on a song. If that's all you need to do, it's crazy as that is. Think about it. Maybe you're having a bad day. Maybe you're whatever reason that you are, you could sit and wallow in it. Or what if you put on your favorite kind of music and rocked out for a while or balleted out for a while or whatever it is you want to do? What if you put on something like spiritual tunes to you or pagan tunes to you or get into technology, binaural beats and subliminal meditation tapes? Maybe you want to get into ASMR and, and hear weird sounds and relax into it. But all that comes together. What makes it the sound is sound. But my favorite kind of sound magic is voice sound magic, hecka work. I, it's hecka work. It's a form of Egyptian magic. But again, it's what ties everything together. It's why often you rhyme and do cadence in witchcraft or in hymns in church. Da 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 da. It's all about the um, movement of things. So again, I'm just re actually going right from my book because I wanted to talk about the difference of sound. When it's your vo vocal sound, this noise. When you make it from your mouth. You are putting your life force into it. You've heard me talk about this before. Your breath is your pneuma, your life force. The moisture in your breath is your free will. So whether you're going, uh, you know, hello, Dolly. Well, hello, Dolly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a singer. But, you know, if you're, if you're doing show tunes or whatever, or you're singing a chant, or you're making a wish to the gods, to the goddess, okay, I want a love spell. I want a money spell. The sound you are doing, that is why I do a lot of chanting, whether it's my ma chant, ma, or you're doing the money spell, money here, money now, money come to me, money here, money now, money come to me, money, that sound is making all that vibration, which is vibrating every cell in your body. Um, I'm not, I, for, just in the simplest, I'm not going to give you all the letters because weirdly, every single letter has an effect on us. The basics of it though, are, our vowels are for, are, are, are force. Just think about ha, a, e, I, force, the force of power within it. And consonants are the form. It works like with the signs, form, a P, a T. We are forming the force of whatever. So you could start creating your own magic within that. My favorite though is vowels, any vowel, any order, it clears the head. It's a power vowel. If you want to think about it, every every sacred word is a vowel. Almost. <laughs> Amen in church or temple. Oh, after a yoga class. Falling in love. Ah, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, around the campfire. Or ha, ya, ha. Whatever that is, this vowels, you are sending out your life force. You are sending out this vowel sound, which opens this up and creates all sorts of magical things. Um, again, I do talk about that a lot. Let me give you some other ideas of what we are doing. Again, I don't have them memorized. I just put them in my book. So 
uh, uh, you, dragon, you, because I'm saying you, you, maybe you've heard me or some with my TFI up. We are calling in spirits. You is actually a dragon vow. It's, it's nature into action. Think about that. If you need nature into action, you, and think of the word like you is what it is. Um, it's force, it's power. A is a vow that brings birth, life. A, like amen or amen. A. Um, uh, L is the dragon of the land. Uh, uh. So you're getting the dragon of the land. And the Z is the serpent. It's the lightning strike. It's the it's 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 it between here and there. It's that lightning strike between heaven and earth. It's divine wisdom. So again, we do a lot with the Z's, the S. Whether you're in a yoga class with Eastern philosophy or you're doing witchcraft and magical things, we're doing the zzz, just like in my balancing exercises. So with even with that little bit of knowledge, you could certainly look up the meanings of sounds within it. But what if you make up some of your own by how it works for you, whether you need a specific chant or you need some magic or you just need to change your mood and you want to turn on some good old fashioned rock and roll from your mother's old album of Elvis or something. Go for it because it is real magic because it is real vibration and all it is is energy and we are energy. So remember when you need to shift, when you need to create, when you need to let go, when you need to do most anything, put the sound, mind, body, spirit. That's it. That's your magic for this week. Sorry for the singing guys.